first off, when I say it's a huge honor and a privilege to meet one of the men that was down with one of the best influential uh, 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 black families that was ever created. For people that don't know, Blue Da Vinci. What's going on with you, brother? What it do? What's up, cuz? What it do? What's going on with you? We glad we could get you down at the nation. You don't do a lot of interviews. You know, you stay low key since back when everything happened. But what you been up to? What's been going on with you, brother? You know, I got a couple of businesses going on, you know. I got a little, I'm trying to make sure my interests get, you know, properly represented. You know, I've been going back and forth with the producers of that power hold thing. Because, you know, I don't want them to misrepresent my legacy. So we had a couple of words, but everything is good. I got my fantasies going on. I'm eating. Now, before we get into anything, can you tell us a little bit about how was it your time with BMF and Big Meech? You no, know, listen, I was doing motion pictures 30 years before I met Meech, you know, because I grew up in, in California, you know, the gang lifestyle. I went on tour with Razzcaz and all that. You know, so I enjoyed, I was a kid, 16, getting money. So I've been in the game a long time. And, you know, basically when I ran into them dudes, you know, it was all love in the beginning. You know, we was a family and all that. We, everybody was eating and, and every, it was all love. Then, you know, I, I did my time. I got five years and everybody, you know, they felt that I, I, I should have got more time, basically. That's where the riff came into play. You know what I'm saying, cuz? It was a lot of people that was really saying you came out way too early, but you know, down at the name, we're gonna give you, you know, your prop because you were more on the the entertainment the, side. Yeah, to the, rapper, to the yeah. eyes of the people, you should have been on the entertainment Exa side. And that's what the authorities felt. Which is you know? why you got less time. Exactly. And it's sort of how Jeezy beat the guard. You know, they were saying he was snitching and getting I don't even like to talk about Jeezy because, you know, when he got thick, Jeezy ran away. I ain't run away. I stood firm with the family. You know, that's how they do, cuz. So know. now, if we can get into it, what's been going on with you and Big Meat? You know, I just, you know, I uncovered some things and I, I just felt it wasn't right. You know, I felt like Meech, you know, through a third party, tried to get a little time cut off his sentence and he said some things through a third party that shouldn't have been said, you know? So that, that's that's the whole beef, you know? And he said some things like, like he felt that I might have been cooperating. I never cooperate. That's not where, that's not how we built, cuz. That's not where we come right. from. I and so now, do you think you, know? you should be saying anything about Big Meech? I don't care about, I don't care about Big Meech. I don't care about none of them. They don't care about me. I don't care about 50. I don't care about the producers of power, anybody on power, the writing staff. If they play with my name, I'm gonna come down there. You know what I'm saying, cuz they gonna see how I really do. I don't want no drama, but I ain't got no problem. I'm about that mess. I'm about that mess, cuz. Well, I know when they were coming up with BMF, 50 said that he, he tried to he contacted you, you guys spoke, and... The, the, the numbers wasn't right, and you know, but recently, I don't care what our first discussion was about. And I get hyped, so that's how I talk, but I ain't trying to be disrespectful. But this thing is, you know, he said some other comments like, they got two, three more seasons before they get to my rat app. Listen, watch your mouth, Fifth. Watch your mouth. They be calling you 25 cent messing with me. I'm about that mess, cuz. Well, you know, Blue, we don't want to keep you long. We know you don't really like being out in New York, I guess. You don't be really be out. I, I, I get around now. I get around more so than I, I used to do back in the days. But, you know, I don't fear nobody. I don't fear no drama or nothing. You know, whatever happens is already written, cuz. But thanks for coming out, Blue. Thanks for having me and let me say my piece. You know what I'm saying? Blue Da Vinci.